Hello everybody, Carl Shu from snorkel.tv here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Safari's activity window to gain access to assets such as images that are dynamically loaded into a Swift file. Um, right now I have Safari open. We are on the HTC homepage and I'm just going to click on this phone browser that they have and you'll notice that all the phone images will load. So I'm going to click on take a look and then 24 images are loading. So I know that those images aren't in the Swift file. They're dynamically being loaded off the server. Um, let me click on this cover flow view and you'll notice that I can scroll through these different phones. Now let's just say for some reason I wanted to get this image here. If I just do a right click on it, all I see is information about the flash player. It's not like a typical image in an HTML page where I can view it or save it. So let's go to the activity window. From the Safari menu, we'll go to Window, Activity. And now this window here is going to show me all of the assets that have loaded for this page. Activity basically shows you all the activity between the web browser and the server. So let's open that up. Um, you'll see they have their Google Analytics JavaScript uh, that they're loading. They have a series of PNG files. Um, eventually, you're going to find a whole bunch of CSS. I can see exactly all the different you know, style sheets that they're using. Um, but let's scroll up. And obviously, we have images here. And when we go to phone slash droid incredible Verizon browser, you'll see that that file there is 88.6 kilobytes. If I just double click on that, a new Safari window opens up and there's the image. I can do whatever I want with this image right now. I can slide this window over and maybe I'll open up my finder. And we have a folder here called Borrowed Images. That's nicely named. And I can take this image, I can click and drag it. And now that's pretty much my image to do what I want with it. I can toggle over to Flash. I have an FLA file open. Maybe I'll just pump open that Safari window again, do a little minimize, and I can literally take this image out of the browser and drag it right into Flash. Now this image is a PNG, which supports transparency. So you'll see I have these really nice rounded anti-aliased corners here. And there it is. Uh, the activity window gives us again a really great way of gaining access to assets that are dynamically loaded into Flash. All right, so if you're ever in a situation where you're working on a project and they don't give you all the images or you're doing a quick mock-up and you need to grab something just temporarily for your own use, um, play around with that activity window.